Welcome to Bodget with Brian and today I thought I'd show you this uh, chop saw I've been using uh, or sliding miter saw and this is the Evolution Tools uh, R255SMS sliding miter saw uh, and it's equipped with uh, quite a, a nice blade here um, it's capable of cutting uh, wood, metal and uh, all sorts of other things as well uh, and I've been using it on site uh, here for a good couple of weekends um, uh, creating some stud work and cutting some um, difficult angles if you like and they're not that difficult but the, here's the main thing this is why this has really helped me out is this uh, miter saw goes up to 50 degrees and that's the pitch of the the roof that we're making here is 50 degrees so uh, unlike a lot of other saws uh, that don't go up uh, to 50 this one does this is almost like uh, going up to 11 uh, if, uh, if you like spinal tap so um, the additional thing that I'm also uh, showing you here is it on this stand. Uh, now we've shown the stand separately before. Oh, I've just done, done the wrong one. Uh, we've, we've shown the, the stand before um, on another video um, and uh, Brian's been using it a different way. But this time we've put the, the, uh, the absolute um, uh, mounts on for, for the chop saw and it breaks down very, very easily. I might show you that in a minute. Um, but um, I'm extremely happy with it and how it's worked. Um, uh, on this occasion we've got it hooked up to a Titan uh, Hoover and uh, it would be nice if uh, Evolution made a Hoover as well um, but uh, um, we've got this little Titan one that seems very capable um, for the job and it plugs in very nicely with the supplied adapter. So. Um, what I thought I'd do is I'd just show you cutting a 50 degree angle uh, in a, a little piece of uh, timber that we've been, it's a little off cut there, and um, yeah, show you the, show you the, the saw in action, uh, which has been extremely good. So on with the safety equipment, I've got uh, uh, gloves, uh, goggles, safety goggles or safety glasses, and some ear defenders on, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, locking pin out there so it reveals the... Uh, the blade or unlocks the blade and I'm also going to undo the sliding mechanism which is just here um, and that allows it to slide back and forth nice and easily there's also the the release catch here which allows the the, the blade to come down uh, and then uh, just on top here with a good strong grip is the uh, trigger for starting so what we want to do today is cut a 50 degree angle and as you can see we've, it's uh, quite nicely shown there next to the 45 uh, and it's nice because it has actually a number of uh, locking, uh, locking positions so that's locked on zero uh, at that point 15, 22.5, 30, uh, uh, 45, actually the he's just a bit short there and um, and then the last one you have to uh, on 50 you have to do up yourself with the with the locking position there so there we go she's locked it up into uh, 50 degrees there and then I'm going to put the workpiece in and then the next thing you'll see is there's a nice laser uh, line there there we go uh, and that laser is actually really quite good um, so what we found is that uh, it, it uh, does cut very nicely on that line and uh, you know you're able to uh, reliably use it so I'm just going to use this clamp here to uh, clamp that down because I am holding a camera while sawing this uh, and we'll go ahead and cut a 50 degree angle so first things first on with the hoover release the blade with the power. And what a neat job. Uh, not only has that uh, cut our 50 degree angle, uh, as we wanted to very nicely but that uh, hoover net mechanism really did capture up all of that sawdust and uh, you know keep the job site nice and nice and clean and tidy and, and uh, as we all know uh, a clean and tidy work site is a safe work site so uh, that was just my quick uh, re-overview of uh, the 
uh, evolution to uh, evolution tools uh, R two five five SMS sliding miter saw uh, on its evolution stand with a Titan Hoover. Thanks for watching Budget with Brian, and don't forget if you liked any of this, subscribe down uh, just here. Uh, any comments, uh, we'd be interested to hear them, and of course you can find us on Twitter and Instagram.